Uh, I'd like to talk to you just a little bit about uh, the, the, the principle of creating space. It's, it's oftentimes uh, when we're escaping from the bottom, uh, it might be mount, it might be cross-eyed, it might be things like this, um, that we need to create space to get our arms or work our arms in between my body and our training partner's body. Um, and it's, it's, a, it's a very important concept to, to keep in mind and, and, and understand when space happens and how you create it uh, so that you are not exhausting yourself or, or trying to create space uh, at the wrong times. So uh, let's just, we'll, we'll just take a look at cross side bottom, for instance. Um, and I'm going to explain the principle that I'm going to show you. The creation of space between myself and a top uh, training partner, in this case, uh, my good friend Lance, is, is, is when we bridge up. So if my body is on the bottom and his body is on top and we're connected, when we bridge up, the creation of space does never happens on the way up. It happens on the way down. So when I bridge Lance up, 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 up and then we hit the top of our bridge, I can choose to fall slightly before him. And I will fall before him, especially if I release my, my bridge. What will happen is, and it's very difficult to see um, uh, in this type of setting, but you'll feel it for sure. It's very subtle, it's very small. But what will happen is my momentum and push up, 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 will push him up. And as I stop and start to fall, then we will be, there will be some space that's been created, the very top at the bridge and when I begin to fall. And that space will exist until, we hit, until I hit the mat and then he falls on top of me. So it, with my hands, it'll look, it'll look like this. One, two, one, two, okay? And you will, have, you will have that time to work your arms in. Now, it may not be a lot of time, so in some scenarios, like I'll show you now, I'll show you examples of one scenario where I create space and I get my arms in. I'll show you another example of a scenario where I choose to use small little bumps and bridges to work my hand into a tight space a little bit at a time. Oftentimes, especially when you're dealing with larger uh, uh, training partners, if you're bridging hard without the frame under your body, um, you could get you could easily wear yourself out by bridging this uh, significant weight off your body. If I'm doing these little tiny bumps and the same principle uh, is true that I'm making space, I'm making space, I'm making space, then my arms will sneak into place uh, with very little effort. So uh, without any further ado, let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's use cross side. Lance has a cross side and just say for argument's sake, I want to put my hands under the chest, but he's smashing me. Okay. I want to put my hand under that chest, but there is no room. Okay. And, and this is not my, my choice of cross side escapes. I am just going to demonstrate a principle of how I can work my arm under his body in between our bodies without a heavy, heavy bridge. As we hold tight here, when I bridge up and drop, it makes a little space. When I do it again, it makes another little space. When I do it again, it makes another little space and all of a sudden my hand is in uh, underneath his chest. I can do it so with the other, that, the other hand as well. If I wanna work with that opposite frame into place, when I bump up and drop, when I bump up, no space is here. If I try to put my hand in right now, there is no space. But if I drop, now the hand goes in. If I bridge up again and drop, now the hand goes in. So if we keep this in mind, we'll really set ourselves apart in thinking, ah, the creation of space happens on the way down, on my descent, not my ascent up, okay? So um, let's, let's go to the mount setting. So now same rule applies, he's mounted and he has just glued his hips on. Yeah, and I need to get my arm up across the waist. One of our big positions for, for my arms in an elbow escape setting is to get this arm through the waist. That is not always gonna be a, 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 an easy task. Um, if he's down heavy, it's gonna be hard to get my arm through there. But if I bump up on my way down, there goes the arm, there goes the arm. Okay, and I'll show you from the opposite side just so we can see. He's low, my left hand is gonna come underneath the body, and as I bridge up and I move down, bridge up, move down, there's my hand sticking through the body and we can then choose to get out. So, well, I think 
what you'll find is this is a very, very nice uh, uh, mindset to have so that you can begin creating space on the way down. Now, let's look at frames. Let's look at, I've got cross side. I've got frames on cross side. Uh, and I want to put my knee um, into that hip position. So I've got cross side. Lance can hold me cross side over here, I guess, buddy. And I want to put my right knee into the gap. If I do so on the way up, and I try on the way up, it's going to be a really big challenge. If I create space, if I, if I continue to bridge, and then I pump my elbows off of him, and then as I drop, now my, the space happens, we can then easily get out. So we'll rotate around, show you at this angle over here. On my way down, as you'll see, uh, I've got good framing position. My, my way up, very little space happens. If I were to try to put my, my knee on my way up, not much is gonna happen. But as my, on my way down, my knee can easily fit in there. And if I combine that with some explosive elbows, it's really simple to get our knee in a very tight space. So if you find that you need your hands worked in as frames, as you need a shoehorn worked in, uh, et cetera, et cetera, and you are smushed on the bottom, try this experiment, try to bridge up little, little time and focus on your efforts of getting your arms in as you fall. Bridge up, fall, as you fall, the arm goes in, you'll find it much easier to get your arms into tight places.